Gotta be getting close to 420. This one's shame. Legalize the liberty. No shame. There's cancer. Canada loves you. We love Canada. Yeah, no shame. We free. We are free. We Canada. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got the old people. We got the young people. Legalize the liberty. All shapes, sizes, and colors. They all love liberty. Yeah, you can have liberty. She's like, uh oh. That guy wants liberty. That's not good. The Canadian flag is flying. Yeah. That yeah. Cool. The Canadian flag is the highest. We just want liberty. It's, so hard. it's not that bad. It's just liberty. We don't want to hurt other people. We just want to have fun and not hurt other people. If I'm on the road, then I'll get off. Oh, yes. Yes, he loves liberty. He loves liberty. Yeah. Vancouver loves liberty, guys. Liberty. It's a party. We have a party here at City Hall. It's a protest right now. We're curing cancer! Karen says it's about fucking liberty. That's all it is. Yeah. It's about liberty. We need liberty. Liberty doesn't involve kings and queens and pharaohs and people with badges or fancy pants or uniforms and hats. It doesn't involve big groups. It doesn't involve any rituals. It doesn't involve anything except respect for one person to do what they want to do. Without hurting they anyone. Do it if they're not hurting nobody. That's it. We're not hurting anybody. He is crazy as you want. Nobody else might understand what you're doing. Doesn't yeah. matter. It's okay. Don't hurt nobody. Yeah. And be as crazy as you want. We're all just kids here. Nice. That's right. No victim, no crime, no interfering with That's the right. mere body here. That's right. Thank you. Mountains. Great Indica. Yeah, we kind of love you guys a lot too. We love you. Yes. Yes, please. We want some liberty here, Canada. Liberty. We want liberty in Vancouver. A lot of people here do too. Once they hear what it's about, we're not hurting other people, and we want them not to hurt us. That's it. Liberty. They give you a nod and a grin, maybe. That's about it sometimes. Like, I'm scared. There's City Hall there. I don't know. What, what will they think? Yeah, what will they think? Yes, we're here. We're already doing it. Yes, there they are again. Legalize liberty. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. She just showed us her joint. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Liberty. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people want it. We got beer gardens cropping up now thanks to the city. Great, great idea. Thank you for the beer gardens. We would like some weed gardens, please. Yes. Please, some weed gardens. Yes, some liberty, a little bit. Thanks. We used to have it. Yeah. Wow. I barely remember a little bit of it from when I was a kid. A little bit more, anyway. Yeah, thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Liberty. Even old guys can love Liberty. He looks a little unhappy about it. The demographic graphics has changed a lot in the last 10 years, man. Oh, yeah. So many older people. Joint, joint, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yeah, have it. Have it. He kind of wanted it, but he knew he was on camera. So it was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm being filmed. Someone's going to upload this and catch me. Yeah. Will he remember that? Will he remember Rick Simpson oil? Yeah. He checked it out. He read it all the way to the bottom. Remember that. Look it up online. Yeah. yeah. We're sorry to have disrupted your day here. It's not a regular occurrence, but it's been a few times we've been here. And I thought it was appropriate to maybe explain ourselves to you. And the reason that we're taking over your entrance here, and that uh, we've been making a fuss all day, is because we're very much outraged, and they've crafted regulations that do not reflect the nature of the thing that they are regulating. 
The fear about cannabis is reefer madness. Yeah. It's not justified in any way. In fact, that's what we have proven over these last couple of decades of self-regulating dispensaries is that there are no problems that reefer madness said there would be. Yeah. But the myths and the lies about developing brain are just that, myths and lies. There's a last gasp to support pharmaceutical companies and people with agendas of control. So with, to do with these regulations, it's very simple. We like the regulations. We know you need to regulate. It's part of the real world that we're living in. But you need to rethink the regulations that are not justified and the ones that are harming people. Yeah. People do not deserve to be harmed by regulations. Regulations are designed to help people from being harmed. You're hurting patients. You're hurting patients. You're hurting dispensary runner owners or good people. Denying people access to that which they decide for themselves that they want to have to help them in their lives. And many of them have serious medical conditions. And it's not all right to do that. The public servants that are in charge of what's going on here need to really rethink what they're doing. Because it is not okay to harm people. It is not okay to deny people what they think is medicine and that is helping them. Yes, he's got it. Yes. Yeah, you rock. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. That's a nice baggie. You see his baggie there? Oh. Yeah, he, he always took his, his big bag of weed up and showed us. Oh, nice. oh yeah, he got a good ounce there. Yeah, the last guy, yeah, he was in a Volkswagen. He showed us, that he had like an ounce at least. Nice big nuts. Just coming back from the store. Yeah, les cochons. Yeah, yeah, Liberty! We just want Liberty, yeah! and they think medical cannabis is dangerous. Please look at the regulations that they're proposing and ask yourself why would there be this hypocrisy because you guys know it's alcohol that causes us problems. Yeah. Yet, there's alcohol booze dispensaries all over Vancouver in clusters with kids allowed inside and edible alcohol happening in there too. That's right. This hypocrisy needs to stop. We need the VPD to help us. You We're peaceful. Inside here. Peaceful. Help us with these bad regulations. We want Check into it, please. If you know somebody that's using cannabis that uses a dispensary, talk to them. Find out what's going on and why people can't use their vape houses anymore. They can't get edibles anymore. What did he say? He was like, oh, it stinks. Oh, stupid. Bad, bad. the stigma yet. It's almost 420. This is really cool. All you people have been here all day. And it would be nice. This is so cool, man. You guys are awesome warriors. This is very important what we're doing here. Uh, we've had so much great response, as you all know, on our traffic here. So bad response from the people in City Hall. This city's really got some things to answer to. They're way outside of their purview on putting in these regulations that harm people. They're actually harming so many people. Cassie here can't find a lounge to go and visit with her friends anymore. She had such good times going on at Budzilla's and the other lounges that she would visit. And she's not alone. There's lots of people like Cassie out there right now that no longer have a place to go. They can't consume their medicine within their buildings where they live. They're afraid to do it in, in the public realm because of the, the risk of being arrested and the stigmatization that still exists in our world. Family, God keep our stash from the police. Here they come! Oh, cannibals, we stand here high and proud for thee. Oh, the sacred plan of peace. She got a free joint. She was happy. Yeah. Yes. Good 
medicine. No stigma. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day. Because we'll be in. Medicine. Yeah. Free medicine. No penalties for the hospital. We need to help us all. That's a messed up car. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Everybody's baked right now. City Hall, Thursday. Looking north into downtown Vancouver from City Hall. I hold the sign up and people read it. People think about it a little bit. Equal rights. What? We already have equal rights. Everyone has equal rights. We've even given equal rights to gay people. We've even given rights to black people. These are people that never had equal rights in the Western world for the longest time. And that was wrong. And cannabis users are one of the last people that you can actually discriminate against because those dirty, dirty potheads are just ruining the world. Well, half the people of Vancouver smoke pot, literally. It's a gorgeous, beautiful, amazing city. It's not destroying the world. So I'm out here holding a sign. There's almost no one here today. It doesn't matter. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Free the week. Thank you. Thank you. We're at Howe Street and we're at Robson? Yeah, Howe and Robson right now. There's John West. We want this on the books. We want to talk about liberty and we want to get it put on the books in Vancouver. We want City Hall and the mayor and everybody to let us do what we want to do as long as we're not hurting other people. This is Vancouver Beer Columbia. If cannabis could hurt you in any way, shape, or form, we would know. And people consuming cannabis are not a threat to anybody. That's it. They don't harm anybody else. And we shouldn't be using tax dollars to call them criminals and arrest them and have our police come and brutalize them. And that's what happened here on July 1st, and that's why we're back here today right. to make a noise about that and say that wasn't right. Our police are public servants. Can you read that from there? Yeah! Thank you, Liberty! It means not hurting other people! <laughs> It's the medicinal side of it that will get us, that will get us back to legal. Yeah. We have the right to medicine at the very least. I want to have liberty. I want to have the yeah. whole deal. But the deal is, I smoke pot. I am not a criminal. Yeah, thank you. People like to smoke pot. Yeah, we have an endocannabinoid system in our bodies that requires it. Just like people that want to drink alcohol, you have the liberty to do so. We got local and some national news coverage of our efforts. I hear Edmonton is now holding their own city hall protests, like ours, and I can confirm having become involved myself, it is truly unregulated grassroots activism going on. I was able to have my unique perspective heard across the country. So stay tuned as this progresses. The new regulations go into effect today. The city of Vancouver is promising violent raids. Peace.